Most people in America are familiar with employee training. Some aspects of employee training that are missed by novice and undertrained coordinators who are in charge of training in your store as opposed to a train the trainer person who's been studying appropriate training for people evermore is a concept of I am not in charge of this. Really sophisticated title, but basically it has to do with employee boundaries. There are many type of employees who want more power in their job and they will try to take it in a lot of ways. When an employee tries to take more power, you have to define and evaluate whether or not the employee is just trying to become a better person, just meaning well in terms they want to show off and demonstrate to the best of their humble abilities, their leadership skills, that they might be really on track for a supervisory program and they're trying to demonstrate that. On the other hand, in general, most of the time, it is employees behaving out of line. You see, the out of line employee thinks they are going to govern other employees. The other bounds employee uses their out of job time to harass and literally piss on customers that they might know in the community because they actually live near a store where they work. Generally speaking, I think it's a positive thing to have employees that look, that actually live close by. I can remember that one of the clinching factors for me when I became an administrator at a community college part-time was the fact that I literally could walk to work. I simply said, well, the value of me is if that's your short staff, you can just give me a ring and I can walk over. And openly, my boss, who's a PhD person, uh, really liked that. The truth is that in life and in time, that worked as a value to me because I worked there for a good five and three and a quarter years. But the reality for that company is that they benefit a lot for all the things that I did for them in visual communication, the corporate communication, on behalf of the college. What I am not touting of my own harm, I am speaking to you about your employees, that there are employees that misbehave on the job, for example, and off the job. For example, an employee misbehaving on the job is too concerned with relationships of people outside of the store when they should be really working on stocking shelves, improving sanitation through sweeping, through mopping, through vacuuming in the store. At the same time, and that's a simple example, at the same time we have employees who are misbehaving outside of the job and that they know customers who they might see in the community. And one minute they might say hello to the person and then the next minute once they're picked up their friends they'll drive by and harass the person. That is mis employee misbehaving related to a job. 